if you want to revise let's see the running model okay so this this was our model so now we are see if you notice there are some rectangular blocks which are representing the cars so we will enhance it and give our car a proper shape for this uh, we will first start with the with the with the model right we are having one agent that is main and then we have simulation we want to uh, add one more agent that will be the car agent just go into the palette in palette this is agent in agent you will see uh, an agent is available just drag and drop here okay as we want to create number of cars so we don't need a single agent for buildings you can see the example factory store gas station hospitals you can create a single agent but in our case we need a population of agent so i'll choose this one and agent type name will be the <clears throat> car for now and the population will be cars if you have uh, information in database you can use the database table also but we will start from the simple one next uh, give it a animation or icon this is car simple car by default it's green color so I'm taking it next you want to create any parameter okay add a parameter uh, as uh, speed speed okay and uh, add another parameter that will be the car type type of car because on roads usually there is a variety of cars available car type and then next create a population with the okay we'll leave it for now and just finish it okay cars are created and this is the icon for the car go back to your project view and here you can see a new agent is added over the main its car so double click on the car when we open car agent, we will see two parameters we just created, one is speed and another one is car type. As we want number of cars uh, of different types to be part of our model, that's why we created this parameter. So what will be the value of this parameter? We will uh, click on this parameter and, and first of all give it a type as the types of car so it will be an integer value two types of car three types of car four types of car so i'll give an inter integer value and um, what will be the default value i'm using a function that is uniform discrete uniform discrete and with the minimum and maximum limit minimum is one and then i'm having four here okay four different types of car i'm giving it here that will be the default value now come back to the car uh, this is our car green color car and uh, name is visible here and i have mentioned in this parameter that the car type can be one two three and four so i have to create four cars and give them some assign them the value so for this car it is visible yes it is visible when it is visible and when it is not visible just click here and add a piece of code which is like car type equal to if car type is equal to one okay if it's one then it is visible otherwise it is not visible visibility i i can change the visibility between true and false if car type is one then it is visible otherwise it is not visible i'll copy this code okay and this is our green car now i want more cars in my model so for that just cancel the palette in palette oh, i double click actually in palette the bottom there are 3d objects and from here I want a lorry yes scale it I want a lorry and I want another car ok 
okay and I want one more car okay so I'm having one two three four cars four type of cars for this lorry I'll I'll give it uh, the code the value as two okay same way if it's two it's visible and I will put it here overlap with that car this car I'll change the color as you can see uh, material for surface I'll change the color to red to differentiate it it is my car one and for visibility click on the icon and then in visibility I'll give it car type 3 okay, and place it right above this truck lorry and then this car car type 2 visibility the value will be 4 and color will be okay this one I like this color let's place it here so we have four different types of vehicles Mm, we we can name this uh, agent as vehicle also, but I just kept it car. So we'll continue with it. Go back to your project. So we have created the car. We can build the model, and we can see there is no error. Now come back to main, and as far as you remember, that we have. I just want to zoom out a bit. Mm. In our logic, we didn't specify anything. A uh, new car. It was agent by default I didn't change it but now we have a car agent so in our car source blocks we will specify the agent as car okay you can change the speed acceleration okay but uh, for the first time keep it simple left car source also I want car because I created this agent it's available in the list drop down list click this and then select car and then click this and from here select car okay one more thing uh, you can see this this is the population of the car agent name is car and the population is cars just click here and here uh, see it's mentioned in the initial number of uh, agent so it's 100 so I want to keep it initially empty as far as the model will proceed it will run the the cars will enter the model and leave so initially I want to start with zero and speed uh, everywhere you can write 60 km per hour as the speed average speed let's try to build and run this model You can see the different types of car, lorry, what about red car, here it come. Okay, I'm just increasing the speed of the model, fine. So now there are no more rectangle blocks, there are proper cars, truck, lorry and cars of three different colors after creating different types of car i want uh, uh, to i want to see the id of the car because there are many red cars many green cars so i want to see the id of the car uh, along with the car so for that i'm just doing a simple uh, step just go to the palette and uh, as you know the ID will be a text which will be displayed along with the uh, with the car so let's go into the palette and from here click on presentation and in presentation we have different option and we have a text here just drag and drop here along with your car and name it as ID because this is what I mean by ID and as the size is too small we can increase the size to 26 right no need to if you like to change the font you can but that is not important for now just put it here place it here right 
So this is the text which will be displayed along with the car, whatever type of car it is. So uh, now you can see if uh, just click on the agent and you can see that we have an option of function, event and many other options are available. We will explore in our future lectures. For now, I just want to use my uh, my agent that is the car agent. When you click in the car agent window, you will see in the properties, you will see the name of the agent plus you have some space like on startup, on destroy, on arrival, blah, blah. So here, um, these windows, you can write your own code. When your agent is created, you can define what you want your agent to do. So for now, I just want to display the ID of the agent along with the agent. So what I can say that um, ID, ID, this is the name of the text, must be equal to what? Must be equal to... I want to get the ID, ID of this current uh, instance of the agent. So I will refer it by using this pointer. Okay, this dot get ID. This is the predefined uh, method. I'm using it. Just get the ID of this uh, car and save it in ID. That is my uh, that is my text. Okay, let's try to build this model. And see, uh, type mismatch cannot convert from into the shape text. Okay, so let's try something different, which can be like, don't use equal sign. We can use the, you know, the getters and setters. So I want ID to set the text, set text method. And in set text method, I'm giving it a parameter that is this dot get id get the id of this current instance and set it at the place of text which uh, whose name is id okay you're getting me just try to build the model and there is no error that's good now let's run the model and see the change see can you notice the every every vehicle every car which is moving on the road is having an id along with it and it's all different for all the all the instances agent is a is a class right and all the cars are the instance of that agent type and everyone is having a unique id the getters and setters are predefined when you create an agent these are predefined you just have to use it and that's it.